Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly mystic. This is your weekly reading. It's a daily energy. It's not for each star sign, it's for each day. And uh, it helps us to kind of get the rhythm and the of what to expect for the week to come. This will be from May 27th through June 2nd. So it goes from Monday to Sunday. And uh, those of you who are down under will be getting it probably midday Monday. Apologies for that. I went... Uh, uh, spelunking or rock hunting or whatever you want to call it. I was uh, being a rock hound this weekend so you'll notice some new ditties on my hands and some stuff on the table. So uh, I went and had a great time. <laughs> There's a place in Livingston, Texas called Johnson's Rock Shop and uh, it's got several, it's a really cool, it looks like an old village. So if you ever get to Livingston, Texas, look up Johnson's Rock Shop. It's pretty cool. So we'll go forward with the reading. This blessing covers all five decks present. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the energy they seek for the week of May 27th through June 2nd to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Well, there's a good start. That's Monday. <laughs> It's a holiday here in the United States, so that's a, we'll all be having that wonderful energy for that holiday, which is great. Uh, we thank you for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light that they are intended. Thank you so much, Divine, for these be this beautiful guidance, and we receive your energy. As always, you are very welcome. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday... Friday and Saturday Sunday so June 1st starts there first and second the underlier is the three of Pentacles this is a beautiful energy of expansion financial abundance and uh, the ability to bring it in yourself so whatever skill you possess or sometimes the skill is the ability to bring the money some people are just innately uh, born with that gift um, this is also about uh, being able to expand, which means bring in a profit. Not only are you working to bring the money in yourself, but there's two. You get two for one. That that's cool. We like that. So, hey, two steps forward for everyone you put out. Okay, here we go. Monday clarifier. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Underlying energy is the Six of Pentacles bonus. Look at that. So this is telling you, foretelling, this is extra money, extra abundance coming in. This is unforeseen or, or outside the regular norm, okay? It can also be money that's in your name meant for you. When it comes through like that, that Six of Pentacles is fabulous for that energy. Let's see what our sacred geometry cards have to say. These are oracle cards. My hands have to really stretch to... Here we go. Healing energy. Love this. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic... What? Ability, so I was about to say stability. Our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senders. Boy, I need to, I need to up my little uh, magnetism on my little cheaters here. I'm going to start over. <laughs> I'm all making up words and stuff. Okay, here we go. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. So, we receive divine healing. Amen and amen. Love some divine. I'm just going to hold this card for a second. That's wonderful. That's beautiful. Okay healing energy and it's on top of this agate the agate also has a very good strong healing property to it so that should magnify the let's see what our 
This is my one of my newest decks. I'm still working with it. It's doing really well. It was it has come into the fold very easily. I haven't had any reason to mistrust its energy. Um, it is fully cooperative. I love that that's oh nice. Okay, so I have it upside down, but that's okay. Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is hang in there. Hold your ground. Don't back down. No matter what anybody says, you go for what you know. Okay? You keep your part of the deal and keep your faith in what you're believing for or what you're trying to manifest. And other people don't have to agree. It's not their, it's not their uh, path. You just stay... When you're called to something, that's part of... Uh, the process is to to outlast the doubters. Because what better way than to <laughs> to be a, to end up with a victory when those people were all naysaying it? Ooh, the Herkimer! Yay, we love the Herkimer. I have a Herkimer right here. We're gonna put it down here with the reading. It's on my little yay. All right, we ready? We're going to use our, uh, that's going to be our meditation, the Herkimer. Here we go. So, we've all covered everything. This is Monday's energy, beautiful Ace of Cups. This is, it goes right along with the healing and the hold your ground because, and the profit and the extra, because this cup is a divine blessing from the universe giving you everything you need to prosper. It's the health, healing, uh, love, restoration of all things. Every single thing. It's your intuition. It's a new cycle. That's why you see the moon cycling up there. And the divine eye of the universe is looking down, putting that beautiful white light into this. And this is the Holy Grail. This is the elixir of life. So this is the highest blessing the universe can bestow. And there it is for Monday. So the energy is good for whatever you need to move forward with because that's showing the new beginning. And uh, we've got the Justice card here, which is uh, the decision being made in your favor, a fair and just decision. So this is the blessing of the universe bringing in very solid energy for you to move forward. Whether it be something legal, this can be a legal matter that's ending in a, a favorable way and the blessing of your new beginning. This can also be a new love life for some of you just to this is what we see as a new beginning in the love area because it's cups, and cups means emotion. A lot of you are also uh, experiencing it moving to the next level because you've got the two of cups. Now, this can be your divine self as well. So when we're talking, it's for Tuesday, okay? So if we go from one to two, that's a progressive move. And if it is your higher self, like an awakening happening for you, um, you're going to be very balanced and able to move forward and then that proving the balance is the two of cups two of cups means a divine union so for Tuesday two for Tuesday <laughs> we've got the uh, beautiful energy of like-mindedness divine union strength uh, having your soul have the awakening and move into your present uh, and combining it with your day-to-day -day and being able to hold that by that's the hardest thing when the awakening happens is to be able to bring that energy into your everyday life and because we meditate and everything's all wonderful and serene at the house <laughs> but as soon as we get back into the world with other people <laughs> it's real hard to hold that uh, that namaste is very hard to uh, attain while you're in the middle of screaming at somebody on the freeway so um, so here we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is grounded, good, solid energy. It also means you have a good handle on being grounded and connected. So this too, for many of you, will be talking about your ability to connect to higher self. Um, and I'm not discounting the fact that it may be a love relationship, but this is a general reading for everyone. So got to remember, I have to say all, all possibilities. So some of you are waiting for something. It could be love. It could be money. It could be a job. It could be uh, just uh, whatever information you're waiting for. This is the stand your ground. That's where this is going with. Okay. Now, when you see this beautiful card, it could be healing as well. You may be waiting to hear the results or waiting to get through a process of, of healing as you have recover. 
this five of pentacles is saying you're being very impatient and you're like losing your uh, ability to stay feeling like it's really still happening it's, it's like you're losing your confidence in it um, you have not been forgotten you have not been abandoned the universe is working on it that's why this beautiful yellow gold light is coming through for Wednesday on this beautiful five of Pentacles which means they're working on it behind the scenes now you gotta understand when we're in the process of believing for something remember I said the biggest challenge is to continue to believe when we can't see because there's a there's a there's a lag time between the time that you start to manifest it and the time that it actually shows up because your spiritual uh, energy has to be sewn into it over and over and over again you don't have to ask for it over and over again you just have to believe it until you can see it this opposite of I'll see it I'll believe it when I see it so you have to believe in it before you can see it believe until you can see it there's my quote that's a royal mystic quote right there <laughs> believe to you can see okay so here is the queen of cups and this is that moment of where you're feeling very verklempt it goes perfect match with this card uh feeling like you you're looking like in in sorrow and and uh, a little bit of uh nostalgia kicking in thinking that okay well if i don't get that then i'll just be able to i'll just have to do what whatever it is you're kind of trying to uh, settle don't settle stay in the seven of wands energy it is on the way so wednesday is a little bit of a oh you take a little little hit to the heart on wednesday maybe or a little hit to your confidence keep it going because look what comes back on thursday we have the ace of cups and the magician so again confirming this ace of cups two times in here this is the divine holy grail this is big big energy coming in the blessing of the universe with your manifestation so it's now combining you with that energy of the magician saying you have the power to bring it in and we bless your wishes we bless it with our highest holy energy of the universe this is the cup of creation all creation so it's saying we we, we support you in your creation stay positive this beautiful white light is coming in through his crown chakra his heart chakra has got this big green orb going and you've got the green light levitating the thing so it is all about your will to outlast the doubters and you're coming in with the gold cup babe okay so we've got on Friday we've got some uh, blast from the past this is this judgment card this is things being resurrected now it may not be a bad thing but sometimes blast from the past people freak out. oh no I don't want it's not about an actual person and if you believe in it to be negative well then that's you know you don't want to manifest that so stay away from that thought uh, the judgment card just means you're getting a second chance at something so this is something coming back around that maybe you maybe you've already given up on over here with this five of pentacles so this is it showing back up and some information coming in with the page of swords so it's coming back to tell you some more something you needed to know about okay this little page he likes to tell things he likes to he'll give you the information inside scoop so again we have another sword uh, for the weekend which is the knight of swords this is coming in cutting loose of all the things that are holding you back little little tendrils of things he's also bringing in divine inspiration and divine idea and on top of that you have the three of cups which is celebration so this is uh, clearing a path for you to move forward and with joy and happiness this three of cups is your family and celebrating okay so I hope I named off all the cards because I think I did I was trying to do real good <laughs> For those of you who always ask me, please say the names of the cards. I get lost in the reading sometimes and forget to say the names, but I think I got it all this time. So, let's talk about the 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 the, the whole thing now that we've got got it all revealed. So, the, for for people who are needing some healing and uh, needing to stand in their belief that their healing is actually being manifested, these cards are very strong for that, especially with the uh, the Two of Cups showing up twice. That's a healing card. That's divine healing. It's also um, people who are standing your ground to begin something new. Okay, so you're you're as you stand against 
uh, an incorrect judgment. You've got the fairness coming in. You've also got this beautiful energy of the Two of Cups showing like-mindedness for you, especially in the love area, if you're standing your ground to make sure that nobody interferes with that. Okay, you've got the standing your ground is the Queen of Swords, I mean the Queen of Pentacles all day long because she's so grounded. And uh, then you've got this emotional card, which is the Queen of Cups on top of the Five of Pentacles, showing that you're just get, you have a little bit of a, a setback or a little bit of a questionable, you're questioning the universe, why it hasn't shown up yet. This is all about being impatient uh, with the timing. You've got to know that the universe is telling you, keep your mind focused because that's what this magician is doing. With the magician and another Ace of Cups is telling you, we've got you, we're doing, we're helping. Get out there and keep believing. Don't change your mind and start being in fear. Now, one thing I want you to notice at the lack of here, there are no fear cards showing. The only one is that you're having the feeling left out over here. That's an ego thing. We can't be in that place, okay? Um, you've got to, like, relentlessly, you have to relentlessly believe in your goal. And I, I say all the time to you guys, I am relentlessly optimistic. That is why I do what I do, because I'm an encourager, and uh, I don't read negative readings. If there's something funky, I'm going to encourage you how to get around the funky, but everything's not always perfect. I just want you to know it's really up to you whether you want to, what side you want to see it from. It's, it's your choice of what perspective you want to take. This reading is awesome. It shows a very strong uh, new beginning here twice. Um, and you're able to hold back whatever comes at you. Divine healing is here for you. And the Herkimer Diamond is a very strong uh, dream card. And for those of you who are not going to stay for the meditation, I thank you all for being part of this beautiful reading. Many blessings to you and namaste. We have uh, our book here. We're going to get our Herkimer. We're going to get our Herkimer on. If any of you have uh, a Herkimer, it is just a crystal that is called a Herkimer diamond because it was found in a Herkimer, New York. It's not just a crystal, it's, but it's not a diamond. So just so y'all know, it's, it's a little misleading. Okay, so this is really good for, I've got, I'm holding it in my hand while I read it from the book. Uh, the Herkimer is a dream um helping you remember so all I know a lot of people who say oh I dream all the time but I can't ever remember them well the Herkimer benefits you in that way okay so it will assist you in remembering your dreams and uh, sleeping with this magical crystal under your pillow will allow you to remember your dreams and access the magic that they bring when working closely with this crystal you will also find the new inspiration and clearing of the blocks to your creativity Wonderful for writers, musicians, artists of any kind. It evokes your dynamic personality and vibrancy. It allows you to shine in your totality and magnificence. Activates inspiration, new ideas, and clears creative blocks. It sweeps the mind clear of clutter. Well, we're about to declutter. Y'all ready? Grab your, grab your Herkimer should you have one. And... Uh, I had I want to show this to you guys I got uh, I got one and don't drop your Herkimer <laughs> because I uh, now thankfully it was a big enough thing but I uh, I dropped it it used to be connected and I dropped it and now I have two Herkimers which are still stunning and magnificent uh, but but I wasn't very happy with breaking it so I'm just gonna set these here because I don't want to drop it again so this one I have been very careful with this one has a whole lot of points and a whole lot of stuff. I got it very inexpensively off of uh, off the internet, and I got to remember the name of the deck. I'll put the name of the website down in the bottom for those of you who want to check it out. This particular website, um, you actually pick the crystal you want. It's numbered, and the one you look at online is the one you get in the mail, which I think is amazing. Okay, you're all ready. Here we go. Breathing in beautiful white divine light with the energy of the Herkimer diamond. Breathing in from your crown chakra now. Hold it in your crown. Imagine flipping, flipping, imagine flipping. <laughs> Hold it in your crown. Imagine flipping on a light switch as the light beams like a laser right out of the top of your head straight up into the universe.
Wash that light over your body, feeling the warmth and brightness, even your eyes as their clothes start to brighten behind the lids like you're lit from within, pulling that energy down like a waterfall through your body, running through every single chakra, straight down to your core, right down through the soles of your feet. You light the earth up with your feet as it goes from the soles of your feet into the center of the earth washing the earth and grounding the earth with this beautiful energy grounding yourself grounding your intentions allowing yourself to be your vibrant beautiful alive self that's removed all blocks so light may flow through you like a beacon bringing the light back up through the through the soles of your feet through your body through your crown chakra shooting it back up into the universe as you exhale removing any blocks second time breathing in beautiful white divine light through your crown chakra with the healing beautiful opening creative energy of the Herkimer diamond starting at the top of your head in a clockwise motion think of this Herkimer swirling with a little this the glowing light of the Herkimer energy were combined with the beautiful divine light of the universe swirling almost making you dizzy as it moves down around your face around your throat chakra circling your shoulders lighting up everything within your every cell now back down around your heart chakra moving to your solar plexus moving to your sacral chakra moving to your root chakra allowing it to circle your hips your thighs your knees all the way down to your toes all the cells in your body start to sparkle with the light ignition of creativity beautiful flow of the cosmic energy you possess within your soul as we exhale we remove any shadows any blockages and release ourselves to the beautiful dreamlike state as we can push through dreams and astrally project if we would like using this Herkimer diamond energy and we release any blockages that may hold us back from accessing our dream memories <sighs> last time bringing in beautiful white divine light with the Herkimer energy. Hold it in your heart. Allow your nervous system to light up like little highways of light as energy shoots through every single part of your being and your nervous system and your electrical system is lit up and inspired with this beautiful energy you are lit from within. As you exhale, we send it out to anyone who is receiving any kind of blockages, we, we now free them and ourselves with any blockage energy is removed from ourselves and the universe as we send this beautiful divine energy out through our heart chakra to anyone who may need it with love and light. Thank you so much for being here and taking part in this beautiful meditation. I thank you all for watching the Weekly Mystic. Uh, don't forget we have Daily Mystic. If you want to do this on a daily basis, I do a daily reading collectively with a meditation. Uh, you can see the Join button below if you want to be part of that. If you are on an Apple product, you have to request the link from me. So you can either comment below or send me an email. Thank you so much for being part of this great energy. And may you have a blessed, abundant, and happy week. And thank you all. And uh, for those of you who are celebrating Memorial Day weekend, many blessings to you all and have a safe holiday. Namaste.